the hair has grown. Oh my gosh. Look at it. And it's so like bouncy and full and fluffy and soft to touch. Alright, let me stop touching it before it started to turn back. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I am here with a new video for you all today. In this one, I'm going to be just blowing out my hair and I'm going to be showing you the process of me doing that. It's been a while um, since I've done like a blow, a blow out style. Um, and I'm going to be blowing out my hair just to make it more manageable. Not sure what I'm going to do with it afterwards. I'll probably like wear it out for a few days and then who knows, might braid it up. I don't know at this point, might throw on a wig. I don't know. But today we are going to be um, blowing my hair out. And to blow my hair today, I'm going to be using my Dyson Airwrap Complete Kit. I'm going to be using probably two of the brushes there. I'm going to show you them in a minute. But before we get started, make sure you guys are subscribed, make sure you leave me any comments you would like, and don't forget to like and share all that good stuff. Uh, so a disclaimer before we get started, I'm not trying to get you guys to purchase this Dyson. I know it costs a little bit of cha-ching-ching, -ching, a little bit more than most of us may want to pay for it, and that's completely fine. It was a gift um, from my hubby like over the holiday season. So I've had it since the beginning of the year. I've used it quite a few times. Um, but yeah, I ain't trying to sell anybody anything. I'm not a Dyson ambassador, nothing. I'm just blowing up my hair and showing you guys how the tool works for me. So now that we got that out of the way, let's, you know, get into the video. So my loves, this is what it comes in. I have the complete um, air wrap kit so I have all the brushes and that kind of stuff uh, all the different attachment pieces which I'm going to show you really quickly so the first one is just the very basic and that you use when you are blow drying um, so yeah this is just basically to dry your hair then I have the barrel brushes these smaller ones are the 30 millimeter ones in both directions and then the fatter ones which are the 40 millimeter um, barrel brushes then we have the round brush and then two other brushes which is the firm brush and the um, soft brush uh, which are my favorites um, out of the whole kit then we have the base which is this this is how it looks you just attach whichever piece you're going to be using on top so again today I'm going to be using this this is the firm brush and all you have to do you see how easy that was I just clipped it basically there's a little thing here if you want to detach it but all you have to do is that and it's in and it doesn't fall off or anything which I love because I don't know with my kinky hair like when I'm using like a normal blow, blow dryer I find that after all the attachment flies off that's why I have really loved I still do love the Revlon um, brush that I tend to use on my girl's hair um, the majority of the time. But yeah, let's get started. So this is my hair. It has been freshly washed. I haven't put anything in it yet. So I'm gonna just section it very quickly into four. So as always, when I'm blowing up my hair, I like to make sure it's detangled. Be honest with any style no matter what i'm doing with my hair i think detangling is very important it's something that i is something that i always you know say in my videos especially when i'm doing my girl's hair detangling is key um i don't style on hair that's not detangled it just it just never works out so yeah just using a white tooth comb and this detangling brush just get the small section at the back the tangle first guys I'm sorry if I seem like I'm out of breath pregnancy life right <laughs> so I have not applied anything to my hair um, after I rinsed it out so I'm gonna go in with this hair milk smoothie it's from Palmer's it's one of my um, favorites and it's from their coconut oil formula and yeah I like it so I just squeezed out about that much apply it on making sure that I coat this really good this smells so good right 
if you all know Palmer's um, coconut oil formula products. They smell so good. that so all the buttons on the Dyson are around this side here we have the on and off you got the fan speed and air temperature as well how hot or how cool you want it to turn it on you just push it up you push it up or down you don't even know oh it's not um look how it is saying that my Dyson like it gone sleep for me and I didn't even plug it in so that's the problem. And it kind of needs to be the same, right? So to start it up, push it up. Get loud. And I have it on the middle setting. It is pretty low, so... But you guys can see how that is sliding right through. Alright, let me just turn it off a second because it is pretty low that's like one of the things that I not hate but I can't really <sighs> anyways so yeah this is how it's looking it's not even fully dry it feels very soft um, yeah it feels very soft and that I believe is not only down to the tool but also the Palmer's and what I did before the what I washed my hair with like the conditioner and stuff and the fact that it has been detangled before I attempted this. So yeah, it feels very soft. I'm gonna finish up this section and then we're gonna move on to this middle section here. So that's this first section at the very back that has been blown out. This is how it looks. Um, obviously if you have like fine hair and stuff, it might get a bit straighter, but I have very kinky um, curly hair, so. Yeah, I'm just parting these sections very roughly with my finger. It's not that serious. Um, so yeah, and again, I'm just gonna quickly detangle and apply the hair milk. that's how it's looking I'm going to do the, like this middle section and then I'll be back to do the front so you can see you know more up close how it's gonna be working Boy, together. 
And one of the things I like about using this is that it doesn't take long. I get through it pretty quickly because the brush attachment is so good at um, detangling as well, even though I would have detangled my hair before. It glides really easily through my hair. And that's one of the things that I really like about it. Now, when using this brush, it said that your hair should be wet or damp. My hair, as I said, started to dry up so much already. It's still damp, but some parts feel really dry. I'm just gonna wet it with a little bit of water. And then go in with my milk. This section I'm going to split into two because up here tends to be more um, kinkier and it gets tangled more. So it's best to work with it in smaller sections. If you guys know, you, you know what I mean when you have like different textures in your hair. Like the very back and the very front of my hair tend to be much... Um, easier to style and stuff because it's a bit finer um, it's not as thick and the curls are not as coiled um, so yeah Yeah guys, so this is the first half completed of my hair. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how it turns out. I think I could do it a little trim, but I'm not in the mood right now to do that. But yeah, I like that it gets to your root. Once you angle your hand, um, you get to the roots of it, which I like, because that's something I struggle with with my Revlon brush. Um, I love the Revlon brush, you know, hands down my favorite, but it's hard to get to your roots. And with the Dyson, I find that I'm able to maneuver easier to get my roots done as well when I'm trying to blow out my hair. And yeah, so I'm gonna move on to this side. I'm gonna do like half of it and then come back. Okay, so this is my hair fully blown out. I'm gonna spin so you can see the back. Woo! And come back around. And yeah, that's how the Dyson does um, blow up my hair. Uh, yeah, I like to always, I like middle parts, but I'm not a 100% fan. So watch me now. Take this to this side. If y'all watch me long enough, oh, or if you um come here regularly, you know that I like to 
do like a side swoop, so to speak, with my hair. Uh, but look guys, look how much my hair has um, grown out as well. Ooh, last for last, what am I going to do with it after this? I have no clue, but at least I um, showed you guys how the Dyson works for me. Yeah guys, so I can just tell y'all in essence what, what I think about the Dyson because I know many of you will still want to know even though I say this is not per se like a review video where you know I'm trying to tell one if to buy it or not. But these are my honest opinions. Do I think it's worth your coins? I mean this retails at what like 400 well the set I have retails at like 400 and I think 40 something pounds. Um, that's a lot of money now do i think it's worth the money honestly i i, I can't justify it because i am going to be real if it was up to me it's not something that i would have gone gone and purchased if you know what i mean i received it as a gift from my hubby so it's like okay well thank you initially i was like man we need to send this back because this is not you know it's not promoted for our hair texture so to speak but then once I started to try it out, I realized that I can make it work for me and he would feel happy and don't feel like, you know, that I thought his gift was trash. But, I mean, it, it is what it is. What I would say is, if you receive it as a gift, keep it, don't send it back. Two, what I would also say is that there are other alternatives out there, like my red blonde one touch um, dryer that I use to blow up my hair all the time. Nothing wrong with that. What I would also say is that there are advantages that I've found from using this. It is very quick. It's supposed to be very safe on the hair. Uh, I've had no problems really with like holding it, heat, this, that. What I, would, what I do think is that a lot of the other attachments that I have aren't attachments that I'm going to use, you know, every week, so to speak. So if you're a person that hardly ever blows out your hair, you don't use heat on your hair, don't bother with it. But if you're one of those naturals that like to experiment with your hair regularly and like blow it out, do curls, this, that, then if you have the coins to spare or I don't know, then you could purchase it. At any day, it's up to you. But me personally, um, I would not have gone out and purchased it myself. But um, I have it. I'm going to keep it. It, you know, it works. It does what it says it's gonna do so like i said it wasn't advertised per se for like my hair texture but it's supposed to be um good for multiple hair textures so even with the girls i could you know just use it to blow their hair every now and again the dry attachment is very good i also have their blow dryer as well that was also part of the gift when i received it and to be honest i like the blow dryer it works very well you know this is supposed to be something that's really safe um, for the hair and I think that's why my hubby said he picked it up because when he looked at you know the advantages of using it and other dryers he thought that it would be a good investment purchase since you know I'm all about the hair and doing the kids hair and stuff and yeah that's pretty much it but let me know what you guys think I'll leave all the links if anybody interested in any case um, where I got my one from I'll put the US site as well um so if any of you guys want to look you know uh, just to see what it is then it's there for you and let me know if y'all would like me to do another video showing you how i use the other attachments or show you how they work on my hair um i was thinking to do it in this video but then it would have been too long you know i like to talk as it is already so i think that would be perfect for a separate video but nevertheless let me know what you guys think i love you guys as always Thank you for all of the love. Let me show you all the baby bump shot. Oh, I don't even know if I can reach up. Can you see? This is what the bump is looking like right now. I'm gonna do a like pregnancy update type of thing soon as well to fill you guys in on how I'm feeling, I'm doing and stuff. And follow me on Insta because um, most likely I will put up um, like little Insta stories and stuff like that um, if you wanna see what's happening when I'm not here.
But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye.